Hey guys, I am Palasha and on this channel, we are going to be discussing some pretty exciting topics of science. Today, we are going to be dealing with neutron stars. So, let's start. Neutron stars are highly dense stars and they are extremely small in size. They have a mass of about 1.4 solar mass in a radius of 10 kilometers. This means that a spoonful of this star would weigh about 10 million tons on Earth. These stars form in a process called supernova. The life of a star depends on the balance of outward pressure, which is due to the nuclear fusion happening in the core of the star, and the inward pressure due to gravity. At the end of the star's life, the fuel ends and fusion stops. So the star collapses under its own gravity. This collapse is known as the supernova and is 570 billion times brighter than the sun. Our sun cannot go through the phase of supernova at its death because it is too small. Only stars having more than 8 solar mass can go through supernova. The resultant of the supernova will only be the core of the star as the other layers of the star wipe off during the process. The mass of core could be anywhere above 1.4 solar mass for that star to become a neutron star or a black hole. Most of the protons and electrons get pressurized and fuse, forming neutrons in the core, which is the reason the star is called a neutron star. If the mass of the neutron star crosses 3 solar mass, the gravitational force gets so high that it becomes a black hole a hole in the fabric space-time where time stops. The neutron star is not only composed of neutrons but also has some protons and electrons about the surface which are electrically charged. The neutron stars also rotate at a very high speed which creates a magnetic field due to the electric currents in the rotating star. Talking about the rotation of the neutron star, it rotates due to the law of conservation of angular momentum. The star which becomes the neutron star had a very large radius and rotated about its rotational axis. Its radius had enormously reduced while forming a neutron star and its mass had also reduced. Therefore, the rotating speed of the neutron star dramatically increases. Coming back to the magnetic field of the neutron star, it can vary from 10 raised to 4 to 10 raised to 8 Tesla. This magnetic field is trillions of times stronger than that of Earth's. The magnetic field of the neutron star is so strong that the structure of the atoms on the surface changes. This strong magnetic field would instantly kill a human only if anyone manages to get that near to neutron star. There are neutron stars that have magnetic fields stronger than these normal neutron stars. These neutron stars are known as magnetars. Only 31 magnetars are discovered till date. They have a magnetic field from 10 raised to 8 to 10 raised to 11 tesla and have the strongest magnetic field in the whole universe. These magnetars are quadrillions times stronger than the Earth's magnetic field. Sometimes these rotating magnetic fields cause the surface to split off and emit a blast of gamma and X-ray radiation. This is known as a star quake. Star quakes are so powerful that if one takes place within a radius of 10 light years from Earth, it would rip off the existence of life on Earth. There are some neutron stars that have a magnetic field lower than that of magnetars and emit radiation from their magnetic poles. These are called pulsars. These appear to be blinking in the night sky because the beam of radiation only comes from the magnetic poles. The pulsar is also rotating, 
so only when the beam of radiation is pointing towards the earth can we see them most of the pulses emit radio waves while there are some pulses that emit x rays now if you ever happen to see a neutron star it would not look like the way you think but it would look a lot more crazy you would be able to see more than half of the neutron star from any direction you see this is because the light waves get curved due to the star's high gravitational force the light waves reflected or emitted from behind the 180 degrees of the star will get curved and reach our eyes that's all for today feel free to comment any queries i'll be coming with more interesting topics in the next videos till then stay safe stay healthy and don't forget to like my video share it with your friends and do subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so you can get the notification for my next video